<laughs> yeah, it was mega. It was really good. We had a, we had a great time. Rockfield was class. From what we can remember, I guess. Fucking mint. Uh, that's it. <laughs> it's just fucking mint. It's massive, mate. Fucking got all the gear out. Manage. Out of time. <laughs> out of time. <laughs> out of time. Everyone was out of time. <laughs> <laughs>
Colombian, Colombian's finest coffee. Two hundred. A lot of coffee, a lot of beer, a lot of brews, a lot of magic. Hey you. I remember a lot of guitar parts, but it fucking sounded mega. Put in the drum machine that to use for once. I remember the drum machine and all the wanted to get his new drum machine that I got for Christmas. We wanted bongos in it, didn't we? So rather than recording the floor, we got on that drum machine. So it's in there, listen out for it. I didn't have any lyrics for that outro bit. We didn't want like a set lyric or melody, we just wanted like fucking noise going on. So I'm, I just remember MC saying, Just vibe it. Got the vibe hat. So I just spent like four or five takes spitting shit. Send the nun. Yes, that is correct. Um, something, something, um, protractor. Finish me. Fucking put your shoes back on. Yeah, it might be mine. Fucking hell, man. man. Oh, sorry, Mr. Fucking Stinky ass. Sorry, Mr. I, I live in Birmingham, mate. I, I live in Birmingham. <laughs> that was so good. You grubby cunt. <laughs> sorry, Mr. Fucking Stinky ass. <laughs> I love you, Bob. Hi, Bobby. Do you remember when we played um, the London gig? I wore a ring on that finger for the first time and by like the first tune that was just like pinching me hand and I was like Aah. What was you like? My finger was hurting so I had to take it off and that's the end of that story
like an acoustic tune at all. But then we went there and Nick was sort of saying, it's like this ballad that kind of builds and builds and builds, but in that middle eight part, you need it to change. I, mean, I think it was literally one chord, I think we changed it to like an E chord, two chords, two chords we changed, and it just elevated it. Worth it then? Yeah. yeah. Evos, I invested £100 into an Evo, thinking, oh yeah, the verb did this, the verb, it must be good. Oh, here it fucking is. <laughs> that, it flashes blue, and my United fan. Fuck Evos, man, they sound brilliant, right? But they spend too much time on <laughs> Never again. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> you got me. Look at it. Look at it. Vibrating with the magic of Rockfield. And it just snaps. Oh. <laughs> What's the vibe at? It's magical, mate. Red light fever, put that on. You fucking. Yeah. You just zoned in. The only way I can describe that is if you've ever seen The Pick of Destiny. <laughs> it's that. It's that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a magic. It's a magic uh, item used for riffing. <laughs> Tom's bucket hat. <laughs> that that um, got really pissed off at me for wearing. Put the vibe on any sound. Yeah, it feels much better than on the demo. Yeah. Um, just nailing the pushes on the cymbals. Yeah. Maybe we don't need them all in the uh, choruses. And maybe a vocal tomorrow night. Whenever, whenever you want to do it, really. <coughs> yeah. Just right. whenever you're feeling like it. Yeah. Friday night about midnight. Then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds <all> right. <laughs> Line the songs up one after another. <laughs> Shabba. All right, come on first, babe. Chill. What's it going into? This is Freddie Mercury's guitar. Right, right come on now. Oh, if you just duck that, I'd have been perfect. First bass on. Hey! <laughs> what was that? Fucking <laughs> hell. I go, 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 go. Hey, you! Live! <laughs> <laughs> so, what's that, the giggle or something? Oh. James had like an original demo of another tune. It was like a slow ballad originally, but it changed. Did a little demo, it was a lot more chilled out. And then I think Tom came up with a riff at the start, that was the big bend. But like, it was like we needed another song for the EP. And it had something there, it was catchy. Uh, the lyrics were good. I remember um, MC getting hold of it and then a couple of days later, just sending it back to everyone else and then hearing it, it's like a completely different song. Punk punked it up a bit more. Just remember at the end, putting every single distortion pedal that we had in the studio and the amp cranks are full and just going wild with it. Yeah, just to be absolutely massive, 
really, there's nothing else you can really say about it. The wall of sound, more polished sound as well. To make it sound massive, just to make it sound as big as possible. Yeah, it sounds. It's there. It's right there. That's where it's where it needs to be. The overall sound is fucking. It was just massive. We just wanted something there, fucking in your face, and we fucking achieved that. Just listen to it.